It has recently been announced that Stephen Moffat is leaving Doctor Who. And I want to make um, a video partly talking about that and partly talking about the new Doctor Who series. Now, this is just my feelings, my opinions. I don't expect everyone to agree. They're just how I feel. Now, at the point of making this video, I've only seen up to the end of the A series. I have not seen anything of Season 9. First off, overall, I am enjoying the new Doctor Who series. I like it for what it is. I'm entertained by it. I like some of the elements of it. But I do feel that there are some issues with the new series. And mainly it's because of sometimes poor storytelling. Not always, but sometimes. It's just that sometimes some of the episodes go by so quickly that I don't know who the characters are or what the story is. And throughout Moffat's run, I think this is this is a continuing issue. Let's Kill Hitler, Wedding of River Song. A good man goes to war. These are especially guilty of this. They um, go by quickly. And at the end of them, I'm like, what just went on? Who are these people? So, you know, that's my main issue. And it's something I really hope changes in the future for future producers. Just to backtrack, when the new series began, uh, Davies was the producer. And just side note, Eccleston is still a very good doctor and very worth watching. And this first series, you know, is by far the best and then by far has the best season closer. And I I feel that sometimes both Davies and Moffat have issues with their season closers. They're not always that strong. You know, this season kind of changed that. Um, but anyways, um, at this point, Davies was producing, Moffat was turning in some very good stories with good characters, you know, and these stories were very interesting, but that doesn't mean sometimes Davies was always doing things that uh, I agree with. Um, some of the things I didn't agree with, for example, was, you know, well, first off, the whole Rose choosing an imitation doctor. Uh, I didn't much care for that. And sometimes some things are a little bit off the board and over the top, as it were. But um, I was enjoying it for what it was. <clears throat> now later on, Moffat, you know, took over, he was a producer, doing some of the stories. And I like some of it. But again, sometimes with some of the stories you know wasn't satisfied with i was entertained with some of the things i went that were going on but i feel overall sometimes were, things were rushing by too quickly now i do like smith and i do like capaldi they're very good actors they perform very well and as with any doctor they have good lines from the beginning of the original story, Doctor Who, to now, every Doctor, no matter who he is, has very strong moments of seeing someone who's doing something wrong and making sure they know about it and saying to them, you have to stop this. That's the strongest Doctor Who moment. Um, no matter who is playing the Doctor, they have this moment. And the other thing is that I'm an old school Doctor Who fan. I was born in 1974. Now in the mid-70s, John Pertwee was first shown it to American via PBS. And then we get my still favorite Doctor, Tom Baker, who is still the longest running actor to play the part. Seven years, people. Seven years as the Doctor. And the original series ended in 89. I'm not going to talk too much about how I got into this 
to the original program at this point, maybe at another time. But anyways, I'm an old school Doctor Who fan. Um, and as any classic Doctor Who fan knows, that the production values weren't very good. But you know what? There's a reason that the original series was a cult classic and still is. Now, during the classic time, uh, series, there may have been some stories that weren't perfect. Some episodes that weren't didn't go off well. But for me, I f felt even with the worst classic story, there were elements that I felt was very interesting. And, you know, let's not forget that there's a reason this is this original series is a cult classic. You know, it's because despite the wobbly sets and how cheap the effects are, that the stories and the characters were interesting. And that's what you need for good TV. You need a good story. You need good characters. Worry about these two things first, then worry about everything else. You know, once you have these two characters and stories, it doesn't matter how good or how bad your production values are. Because you can turn out something that still resonates with people. And I would highly encourage people to watch the original series. I know for some this may be a little difficult. Part of this is I think sometimes people have a stigma about watching things that were made before they were born or they're not so interested in older TV or movies and whatnot. But I would encourage them to get past this. Because, um, <clears throat> again, there's good stories, certainly good actors. And, you know, I think that's what the original series had and maybe it's just the difference between older television and newer television I feel that older television especially classic BBC had a very theatrical element and the original series from beginning to end retained its theatrical element what do I mean by this I mean it's like you're watching a stage play on TV. An older 70s BBC series had this. I, Claudius. Six Wives of Henry VIII. Elizabeth R. These series have this element. And this is something that I feel that has become lost with our modern day TV. Uh, with you know, American TV, you know, early TV was the old vaudeville brought to life, as it were. You know, the old vaudeville stage stuff brought to TV. And, you know, George Burns and other, you know, show early shows were vaudeville on TV. And even with shows like the original Twilight Zone, it was a you know, stage play being produced on TV. And throughout, you know, most of BBC's history, they had this element of, you know, a stage play brought to you on the TV screen. You know, in fact, one of their programs was called A Play for Today. In fact, uh, Rumple of the Bailey was introduced during this uh, program. So this, this is a, you know, elements that is missing for modern day TV. This theatrical element um, that the original series had throughout its time period. And again, 
it's a deeper issue of how TV was made, is made, how it's produced, what's going on during the time period. Um, for example, my second favorite doctor, William Hartnell, the original doctor. Some people are not entirely a fan of this doctor. And I'm wondering if maybe sometimes it's how it was being produced at the time. Because if you watch the older Doctor Who, it's much, it seems to us much slower. It moves at a slower pace. And for us of the modern world, some might not have the patience for it. And I think that's, you know, the deeper issue of why our modern day viewing audience doesn't watch older, you know, movies, TV. It's because they don't have the patience for it, which is a shame. It's when you do things quickly and just worry about effects that sometimes it doesn't always go off well. Sometimes it does, but not, you know, sometimes, you know, it's turned out so quickly and it's almost as if it's being made to be forgettable. And that's a shame. You know, so again, I challenge viewers of the new series to check out the original. Be willing to have the patience for the older black or whites, the Hartnells, the Pertwees, the, you know, Troughton. Be willing to watch these older productions. Because there's certainly a difference in quality of these two. And it's a quality that I feel is sometimes lacking for not only this new Doctor Who, but modern day TV. And it's something that I would really like to have restored in modern day TV, and especially Doctor Who. You know, so whoever is going to be the new producer, I'm really hoping that they take the time to have good characters, have good stories, not just really great production value stuff and very eye-pleasing, have good stories, have good characters. That's what the original series had. That's what made the original series so popular. Anyways, that's just my feelings about, you know, the new series and and again, also how modern day TV differs from older TV and so forth. Um, so thank you for watching.